Module 2, Basic Concepts and Elements of Maps Analysis. Unit 1, The Concept of Geographical Features or Data. Introduction. Basically, map analysis involves a critical examination of data or information presented on a map. So, ang map, ga-analyze siya og mga critical examination o, o gahatag siya og date, data or kanang mga information kan, nga ga-represent siya sa map kung asa ang location. The map data represent geographical features. So, ang map ga represent siya o ge geographical features. It means nakaklasify siya sa such as location, sites, areas, or regions. Hence, it is important that the map analyze understands the concept of ge geographical features and geographical data. So, the map is ga-analyze siya o ga-understand sa concepts sa geograph geographical features o geographical data. So, di ba ang geographical features kay ga-classified siya sa location, sites, areas, or regions. O, ang geographical data is kanang ga-describe siya sa location. For example, Road maps, and ang mga political maps showing boundaries. And also, important is knowledge of the possible sources of data for map making. In this unit, therefore, we will, we will look at map or geographical features or data as well as sources of such data. Objectives. At the end of this unit, you should be able to First, identify the different types of geographical features or and data. Last, identify the various sources of data for map making. So, types of geographical features or data. Maps are produced using geographical or spatial data. The data give us locational and other useful information about the geographical features represented on the map. So, uh, important kayo ang map tungod kay gahatag siya sa atwa o exact location and information sa atuang adtuon nga loki atuang adtuon nga location nga atuang ganahan nga maadtuan sa atuang mga destination gahatag siya og mga information para makaadto ta ana nga lugar with respect to their geometric dimensions geographical features are generally categorized as point line or area or polygon so, ang geographical features po ay kay ga-categorize po siya as point, line, or area, or polygon. Similarly, geographical data could be point, line, or polygon. These geometric descriptions are the basic data elements of a map. Each of the geographical features or data type is discussed. So, mao na siya mga example sa point sa map. First, points are used to indicate discrete location. Uh, discrete features, discrete location is means is kanang discontinuous and have definite features boundaries. Kanang naa siya mga gaps. For example, uh, a road has, has a width and length and is represented on a map as a line. So, a land ownership shows that boundaries various parcel. Kanan na actually lay mga 
kanang marag barrier ba kanang gaps nila next is arcs or lines arcs are ordered sets of points that have the look of a straight line or a curve arc depending upon the feature it describes first is they are considered to have a length but no width na siya'y katas on pero wala siya'y kanang kalap dun they are accompanied by a set of coordinates na, na siya'y mga strong matches Then, last is they are used to represent a geographical feature that is too narrow to have area such as a stream or a road. Nang kwan siya ka ng less wide or not wide siya. And that's all. Okay, polygon areas. So... Their close features whose boundary includes a homogeneous area. They have an area that is given by the arc or lines that make the boundary. They are used to represent features that have area. Example ka nang sa lakes, large cities, and islands. So, ang ato ang example is arena. So, amuhang gikuhaan o kanang exact nga location or area ang isa ka place. So, maunto ang mong nakuha. Like, ingon ani. Example, ni una may diri sa kilid. So, kani like, that siya, diri, dayon, abot, dayon, tuyok na po. So, mauna siya ang polygon or color So, muna siya. Polygon. So, source of data for map making. A primary data. The original data derived from your research. Idibor. So, from the word primary data is, kuwane siya, mukuwane tag interview, audio recording, investigational product, and then, mukuwane po ta, og completed paper and pencil questionnaires sa primary data. From the word primary is ga-derive na siya sa data sa imuhang pag-research. Okay, secondary data is already existing data which was collected and used previously. So, like, mo kanda kag interview transcript then sa imuhang pag sa product nga or sa imuhang pag-survey. So, Containing raw data, calculated variable summary scores. So, mana siya. So, the major, primary, and secondary sources of data for map making include kanang sa pag travel, pag collecting sa example kanang sa ato ang place or na exact or kanang sa yuta. Then, existing maps. So, kailangan kita siya mo gamit taog mapa. Like, or Google Earth, or GPS, or GIS, or Global. Yan na siya. Ang aerial photographs kay, kini siya, these are photographs or of portions of the Earth's surface taken from aeroplanes. So, amun ni ang, ang photographs ka nang makuan na to siya is sa ka lang sa mga aeroplanes and satellite images so ang satellite images there are images of portions of the earth's surface obtain remote sensing satellites so ang satellite images makita na dira kung like ka nang <coughs> example ang drone so ang drone makita na to siya for ka na makita tanan nga area or Example, ang Google Google Earth, makita na to ang area kung haina ang naupaw or adoon na sa mga surveying para mabalan if kana ba nga lugar is tinuod ba nga naupaw. So, land survey. This is the method of physical measurement or 
distance, direction, or height on the Earth's surface. So, pag, from the word land survey. So, land surveying, this is the method of physical uh, measurement. So, uh, distance, direction, or height on the Earth's surface. So, example, ang Google Earth. So, like, pag mo survey ka sa usa ka yuta is imo siyang lantawon ang Google Earth if like example nang naay naay na upaw nga place so adtoon like sa kung giingon ganiha nga adtoon sa mga surveying ang maong lugar so iya ilahang i survey if kaning nga place is okay pa ba so mana siya and questionnaire survey so mato dito ha unsay kanang unsay exact or mga question ani nga lugar or ani nga place nga na opa oh, so mukandak og questionnaire survey and uh, the rest is official statistical records so mo ano ta og kanang mga records or ini kuan sa ana nga place and field observation so involves personal physical observation and recording of information about a phenomenon being studied so mo like mo observe ta and then ato ang i-record for unsa kana ba nga place is kuan ba siya kaning okay ba ni siya nga place lami ba ni siya tamnan ana and global positioning so like mo ato ka didto mo ano jud ka og kaning kaning global positioning system or GPS mo ano ka ani mo gamit this is an electronic digital device used to record so para ma mabal-an ni mo kaning kaning nga yuta is okay ah uh, kaning ba nga yuta is pila ka hektarya o oh, kaning ba nga ano so dapat jud is mo ano pud ta sa step ah uh, sources of data mapping me for map making. So, mo siya ang paggama sa kaning mapa or kanang sketch plan. Like, kanang sa mga titulo. Pagkita na to. Dara. So, digital environmental information files. So, these are digital information about different aspects of man's physical environment. So, kani siya and usually compiled by various agencies so kanisha the digital environmental information files is naka hold ni sa mga tao nga katong na ay mga authority and na ay mga um mga tao nga kanang na ay na ay kapit sa government so in conclusion Proper categorization of geographical features or data is very crucial to effective and efficient map analysis. So, di ba? Ang kanagad tanan is, ang map is, kuan siya? Maayos siya gamitun and maka efficient po siya for kuan kanang mag locate sa area or mag himo og surveying sa area so summary these are various types of geographical features which can be mapped for convenience sake so mana siya or atong kwaron is ang geographical kana siya point data or moto ang akong giingon ganiha nga like Imo siya 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Muna siya ang katong sa point data. And then line data. Kana imo na ang iano ang usaka place for gathering. Primary data is originally collected by the user which has never been used before. So, muna siya. So, in this unit, we will discuss the concept of map symbols. Introduction. Maps are usually drawn using graphic or visual symbols. In other words, when we draw a map, we are simply symbolizing the, via, the various geographical phenomena shown on the map. When we engage in map 
reading and analysis, we are only trying to encode the symbols in order to understand their meanings and hence the information they bear and convey. They are different kinds of map symbols. It is important that we know the symbols and how they, use, they are used on maps. Understanding map symbols and their meanings helps us to properly interpret maps and derive the information being communicated through the maps. Objectives. At the end of this unit, we should be able to understand the meaning of map symbols, identify the various types of map symbols. Question. What is map symbol? Every map is drawn using a set of symbols. A map Symbols is any graphic or visual sign or mark used on a map to represent and communicate information about geographical features. The symbol symbols are used to code or set data and represent it in a form of diagram, diagram or illustration. Symbols are part of the sign language of the map. The symbols used on a map are usually defined in the map's legend or key. So, ang map di ay siya ang nag-symbols sa mga visual 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 sign or mark use or mark use on a map to represent and communicate information about the geographical features. Ano siya ang map. So, the type of maps So, the type of maps The first one is points points symbols. Point symbols are used to are used to map point or zero dimensional features on the map points symbols are shown as individual discrete dots existing at single spot or location the dots however are not always circular in in other words point symbols could be of various shapes and sizes too more so a point symbols can be used to represent a quality qualitative value or quantitative value as shown in figure 2.0a when use a qualitative symbols a point symbol simply shows us where individual features are located for example a symbol showing a building settlement petrol station trigonometric station spot height or benchmark On the other hand, if use a quantitative symbol, it indicates the quantity or amount of the features it represents. For instance, an illustration as illustration in figure 2.0b, one that can be used to represent 50,000 people in a dot map, showing the distribution of map of human population in a region. So, nakalahi dayan yung quantitative symbols, kasi ang nagrepresents feature it. Uh, the qu indicates that the quantity of, or amount of, of the features it represents. The one dot of the quantitative is equivalent to 50,000 people, while the qualitative symbols, a point symbol, simply shows where individual features are located. For example, showing a building settlement, petrol station, trigonometric station, spot height, or benchmark. So, proceed, line symbols. Line symbols are used to represent one-dimensional or linear features such as roads, rivers, railways, pipeline, and other, and power or telecommunication cables. Like point symbols, some line symbols, example, one showing rivers or roads, are used to show qualitative values, while some, example, contour lines, are used to show quantitative values. Line symbols can also be used to show the movement or flow of people, goods, energy, animals, etc. from one location to another. Line symbols that show movement can indicate both the directional of the movement and the quantity involved in the movement. There are different patterns of line symbols. So, kanina mo yung mga, ang mga kinakaraiyang mga 
patterns of line symbols. So the first figure of 2.1a line symbol showing different types of linear features. Mga siya. I think sa figure 2.1b the quantitative line symbols or contour. Mo na siya. It's a figure 2.1c line symbols or flow line showing the direction and volume of fertilizer move from one place to another. Then, the area symbols. Area or aerial symbols are used to map dimensional or polygonal features. That is features that significantly cover a wide area of land. Examples of aerial features include lakes, lagoon, farmlands, schools, compounds, state, country, and so on. There are quanti quality qualitative areas area symbols as well as quantitative area symbols figure 2.2 a shows different land use types in a place the area symbols used here are qualitative on the other hand figure 2.2 b is composed of quantitative area symbols showing the distribution of population density density the area symbols can also be in form in a form of con of a color pattern just like for example sa ang green nag represent siya og agricultural which means kanang muna ito mga talamnan then ang violet nag represent siya og residential muna yung mga mapuyanan then ang or pink ang uh, muna siyang industrial then ang um, blue nagrepresenta siya og water body so the literal and textual symbols there are symbols that are derived from the abbreviation of some words hence they are in form of text or letters they are used to indicate the location of the features they represent some examples are Ang literal and textual symbols, muna siya ang gipamugbong mga sulat. Just like for example, school, gibutang na lang sa H I S C H market, hindi na lang siya ang MKT. Mas gipamugbo, church, CH, rest house, RH, post office, PO, hospital, hosp, hops. Okay, um, unit 3. The concepts of scale. Introduction. <clears throat> scale is one of the most important elements of a map. Any map without a scale incomplete. The scale controls not only how features are shown, but what features are shown on a map. In this unit, we will learn about the meaning, types of sizes of map scale, as well as how to convert from one scale type of a, to another <coughs> objectives at the end of this unit you should be able to explain the meaning of scale identify the different type of map scale recognize the different sizes of scale learn how to convert from one form of scale to another <coughs> excuse me what is scale what is scale? The scale of a map is the ratio between distances on the map and corresponding distances in the real world. In another words, map scale tells the relationship between a distance measured between two points on the map and the actual distance between them on the ground. The scale of a map shows how much how how much the given area has been reduced to paper size and hence how much you would have to enlarge your map to get the actual size of the piece of land shown on the map for instance map has a scale of 1 column 50000 then 1 cm on the map equals 50,000 centimeter or 
0.5 km on the Earth's surface. The map scale tells the users how map relates to the real world. So, muna siya guys, ang, ang, map, ang map scale ga kuan siya kung unsang kuan ang kuan kaning iyang muna siya ang distansya sa area muna siya gasulti niya muna siya ang kuan sa to ang muna siya ang distansya ang anang area <coughs> so usbo na to no what is scale uh, ang scale mga good muna siya ang kuan na to example kanang adin na to makuan nga ang, kung pila na siya ka miles pila na siya ka kilometer diya <coughs> and then asa na to To show a portion of the Earth's surface on a map, the scale must be su sufficiently adjusted to cover the objective. The extent of reduction is expressed as a ratio. <coughs> Excuse me. The unit on the left indicates distance on the map, and the an number of the right indicates distance on the ground. So, nako example na guys, no? Ah. Uh, So here guys. Pakita na to na siya ng ani guys. Sample sa scale. So din ata maps are made at different scales for different purposes. <coughs> The scale controls not only how features are shown but what features are shown on a map. For instance, uh, one <coughs> to 2,500, uh, kwaan, uh, 2,500 map will show individual houses and lamp post while, uh, one, <coughs> which is a much smaller scale will not show such features. Arin ta sa kuan, uh, types of map scale. <coughs> Excuse me. Types of map scale. A map scale can be expressed in three different ways, namely representative fraction or RF statement and linear. So, nasa ito lo ka, kuan guys, nasa ito lo ka, nasa ito lo ka, kuan kaning, ito lo ka, kuan siya ka ng types una a ratio or representative fraction or RF indicates how many units on the earth's surface are equal to one unit on the map 8 cm uh, 8 can be expressed as 1 <coughs> or 100,000 or 1 100,000 in this example 1 cm on the map equals 100,000 cm or 1 km on the earth it also means that 1 h on the map is equal to 100,000 inches on the land other common apps include 1 A colon 63,360 or 1 inch to mile, uh, to 1 mile and 1,000 uh, million <coughs> or 1 centimeter to 10 kilometer. The, num numer uh, the numerator of of a representative fraction is always one more so it should be noted that rf's number on the, the left hand side is the distance or length on map while the figure on the right hand a example a 50,000 which is also the dominator The denominator is the corresponding or equivalent length or distance on ground. So the RF, a one, ten thousand means one centimeter on the map, 
represents 10,000 centimeters on the ground or or one inch on the map represents represents 10,000 inches on the ground so naman to sa dito guys yung, yung example usar yun po na sa example ato katong ako yung pagkita narga po sa dito guys <coughs> excuse me next is a word statement gives a written description on scale of scale such as 1 centimeter equals 1 kilometer or 1 centimeter equals to 10 kilometers here the first map would show much more detail than the second because 1 centimeter on the first map covers a much smaller area than on the second map it should be noted that the two methods mentioned above for indicating scales would be ineffective, ineffective if the map is centimeter on the original map. This can, however, be taken care of by using a linear graphic. So, ang kanyang sa word statements, so, muna sa katong word, eh, kanang ginatawag na tato, ber, verbal, verbal na siya, verbal scale. I think, muna. So, next is linear scale also known as graphic scale or bar scale figure uh, so na na sa ilalom sa figure to zero guys I uh, would be able to solve this problem as it is simply a line mark with wi distance on the ground which the map users can use along with a, with a roller to determine scale on the map as long as the size of the graphic scale is changed along with the map, it will be accurate as so Monisha guys know as shown in figure in this figure. A linear scale is often made up of two component parts, namely the primary subdivision and the secondary subdivision. The primary the primaries are on the right hand side of the zero while the secondaries are on the left hand side while the primaries are sub subdivided into kilometers or miles so man siya guys no ang kuan example lang iyang kuan ah napata diri nana siya diri guys ang kuan makita nimo ang uh, linear kanang nasa aro kanang nasa ilalom kanang may mga 200, uh, 200 then may 400 km then may 0 na natudlo sa aro and then back sa to ang report <coughs> excuse me so ato neta sa sizes of scale there are 3 broad categories into which map scales can be grouped these are small scale, medium scale, and large scale. As a general rule, the higher the denominator, the smaller the scale, vice versa. Small scale maps have scales of about 1, 100 million, 1,000 million, rather, and smaller such as 1, uh, 2,000 million. 1, 6,000 6, million, 130,000 million and are used for maps of wider areas such maps are used when much detail is not required. So, na tayo picture na guys. Tayo picture na dari. Na right, example. Nisha. Sa large. Sa medium o sa small. So, explain sa nato ni. I basan sa nato ni. Medium scale. Map sub scales of 1, 50, 50 million, 50,000, <coughs> 1, 75,000, 
100,000 to 1,000 millions and are used for maps of medium-sized areas. Large-scale maps have scales larger than so muna siya sa medium dahi. Medyo ni nara siya ka nang na kung nasakay kong sa small mangutaso gamay kayo din ito makita kung kayo dako naman nga area yang gi gi kan sa map dako naman nga area yang gi kan sa map gi yang gi view sa map mo nang gamay nang iyang kuan makita mo nang puti niya oh iyang nang gawait so bak sa kuan ta sa large scale Maps sub scales larger than 1 50,000 50, example 1 100 uh, 1,000 1 2,500 1 5,000 1 10,000 are And are used when we want to represent higher levels of detail. So, muna sa sa large, sa large. Dole kay siya kay gamay rang area. Di klaro man kay niya ang iyang, kung saan sa dang area, nakit ng kuandra. Muna siya ang sa large. Gamay rang area yang gi, kuan gi. Kay iya mang gilantaw, for example, kaning, Uh, Nata example kaning Another example rin ako kaning Sa example sa small uh, Tibuok Asia Example abit Tibuok Asia Nungi kuan sa map na, dito din May makita Tibuok kuan Tibuok Asia Then sa Kuan sa medium Makita ng southeast Southeast Asia Then sa kuan sa Lars, makita na na to ang Philippines. Sa Philippines na. Example rin na, guys. And then, it should be noted that a large scale map shows small features and great detail. On the other hand, a small scale map shows only large features. So, ang kuwan magod sa small scale muna siya Large, large features, dako kayo nga area yung gikuan. So, kuan siya kanin. Munang dakuan po kayo siya kanin. Dako kayo nga area yung ikuan mo nang makita po na to siya. Gamay na kayo tong, di ba makita na to tong ang puti. Katong gawait siya, gamay na kayo. Kay dako naman nga area yung gikuan. While ang sa kuan mangyot ha. Kanin magod sa kuan, sa large scale kay kuan. Ni, ni siya sa large scale kay gamay kanang giklaro naman siya mayong area munang medyo na dool siya short distance lang yung giklaro ba simply put a large scale map gives a larger and more detailed representation of a feature than Thus, a small scale map, in other words, the smaller the scale, the greater is the area where can be shown on a map of given size. But on the other hand, we are able to show less and less details. A large scale map covers a small but small area but shows more details, while a small scale map covers a large geographical area but gives Less details. So, muna itong sa picture. Muna siya, guys. So, muna ni. Muna siya. From one scale type to another. In map reading, one can convert from one scale type to another. For instance, we can convert from statement scale to representative fraction or RF and vice versa or from linear scale to statement or RF. And so on. So here are some examples. 
conversion from RF or the representative fraction scale to statement scale. So we have letter A, 1 is to 1,000, B, 1 is to 20,000, C, 1 is to 150,000. Solutions, 100 centimeter equals 1 meter. 100,000 centimeter equals 1 kilometer. So we have here letter A. For the given examples, we have A, A1 is to 1,000. The ref representative fraction means 1 centimeter represents 1,000 centimeter. 1,000 centimeter is equal to 10 meters. That is 1,000 or 0 0.01 kilometer over 100. That is 1,000 over 100,000. Therefore, the statement scale is 1 centimeter represent 10 meters or 0, 0.0 kilometer. For letter B, we have here 1 is to 20,000. The rep representative fraction means 1 centimeter represents 20,000 centimeter. 20,000 centimeter is equals to 1 or 0 point kilometer that is 20,000 over 100,000. Therefore, the statement scale is 1 centimeter represent 0 0.2 kilometer or 5 centimeter represent 1 kilometer. And we have letter C, 1 is to 150,000. The representative fractions means 1 centimeter represent 150,000 centimeter. 150,000 is equals to 1.5 kilometer. That is 150,000 over 100,000. Therefore, the statement scale is 1 centimeter represent 1.5 kilometer or 2 centimeter represent 3 kilometer. Now let's proceed to converse, conversion from statement scale to RF or the representative fraction. For example, convert the following statement scales to representative fraction. 1 cm to 1 half kilometer and 4 cm to 1 kilometer. Here are some solutions. A is 1 cm to 1 half kilometer. The statement scale means 1 centimeter represent 1 half or 0 0.5 kilometer. Convert the same unit of measurement. 1 kilometer is equals to 100,000 centimeter. And one half kilometer is equals to one hundred thousand over two is equals to fifty thousand centimeter. We should have to uh, divide one hundred thousand divide two. That's why the answer is fifty thousand centimeter. Therefore, the RF is one or 1 is to 50,000 over 50,000. And so letter B, 4 centimeter to 1 kilometer. Convert to the same unit of measurement. 1 kilometer is equal to 100 centimeter. The statement scale means 4 centimeter represent 100 centimeter. If 4 centimeter represent 100 thousand centimeter one cm will represent one hundred thousand over four the and equals to twenty five thousand centimeter let's divide one hundred thousand divide four 
That's why 25,000 centimeter. Therefore, um, the RF or the representative fraction is 1 or 1 is to 25,000 over 25,000. So, conversion from linear scale to statement scale. For example, convert the linear scale in a figure 3.1 or A to statement scale. So, uh, so we have here an example of linear scale, which is a figure 3.1. Solution, using your ruler, carefully measure the length of a line segment in the primary division divisions of the linear scale. For example, from 0 to 1 in figure 3. So we have here the figure 3. In figure 3.1, in, a, in, in this example, the line segment measures 1 cm. And note, in some other cases, it could be less than 1 cm or as in the example below, more than 1 cm. This measurement represents the distance of the map since the distance of on the map from 0 to 1 in figure 3.1 is 1 cm when represents 2 km on the ground as indicated in a figure. Hence, the statement scale is 1 cm to 2 km. So, next, conversion from linear scale RF. For example, convert the linear scale in figure 3.1b to representative fraction. So, we have here the figure 3. Solution using your ruler carefully measure the length of the line segment in the primary divisions of the linear scale. For example, from 0 to 1 in figure 3.1b, the line segment in this example measures 2 cm. This measurement represents the distance on the map. Since the distance on the map from 0 to 1 is figure 3.1b, is 2 cm which represent 1 km on the ground as indicated in a figure. Therefore, the RF scale is worked out as follows. 2 cm equals 1 km or 100,000 cm. Therefore, 1 cm is equal to 100,000 over 2 equals 50,000. We should have to divide 100,000 over 2. That's why the answer is 50,000. The RF is 1 is to 50,000. Conclusion. Scale is an important component of any map. Without a scale, a map could be considered to be mere sketch. The scale enables us to relate map distance to the equivalent distance on ground. The scale gives us an idea of how much reality has been reduced to paper, size, and hence by how much we need to enlarge the map to get back to the original size of the reality represented on the map. In analyzing a map, we need to make use of the map scale whether necessary. In fact, without the scale, it will be impossible to accurately measure and determine the actual value of certain parameters such as distances, dimensions, and quantitative magnitudes of features on the map. In the summary, every good map has a scale. The scale, the, the scale of a map could be indicated in about three ways, namely representative function or RF, word of statement or graphical, also bar or linear scale, on a map, it is of often better to express the scale in all three ways, or the at least Unit 4, the concept of map projection. Introduction. Map are actually projections of the part of the inner Earth. For quite some time, it was true that our planet was flat. And during those days, a map simply was a miniature presentation of a part of the world now that we know that 
Earth's surface is curved in a specific way, we know that a map is in a fact of flatted presentations for some part of the planet. In fields, the map projections concern itself with the ways of translating the curved surface of the Earth into a flat map. Objective At the end of this unit, you should be able to Examine the concept of map projection Identify the elements and classes of map projection What is a map projection? The Earth's surface is curved but as it much be showed on a flat sheet, there needed for a projection. A projection is a method by there is curving surface of the earth. It is represent on a flat surface. It involves the use of mathematical transformations between the locations of place on the earth. And there's project location on a plane. A map projection is a mathematical described techniques of how to represent the Earth's curved surface on a flat map. In other words, it is a mathematical process of transforming the, the spiral Earth into a flat Earth. It is also a representation of parts of surface of the Earth and a flat shape map of on a computer screen. Every map we see on paper has been projected. It is project versions of a spiral earth. Classification of map projection. There are several types of map projection as we as several methods used to achieve those projections. Basically, however, there are three classes of map projection. They are cylindrical, cornical, and azimuthal. The Earth reference surface projections is a map waving around the global as a surrender produced as cylindrical map gives a cornical map projections when projections directly onto the mapping plan to produce as a zoomical or a zoomical map projections. I below should the surface involved in those three classes of projections so there is simply no way to flood it out of piece of solidal or spherical surface without without stretching some parts of the surface more than other in amount and which kind of Distortion a map will have depends largely next to size of the area being map mapped on the types of a map projection uh, projections can be identified by the distortion which they avoid. The general of projections can belong to only one of these classes. The concept of a map projection introduction maps are a Actually, projection of a part of an entire Earth. For quiet some time, it was thought that our planet was flat and during those days, a map simply was a miniature representation of a part of the world. Now that we know the Earth's surface is curved in a specific way, we know that the map is an end fact a flattened representation of some parts of planet. The field of the map projection concerned itself when the ways of translating the curved surface on the earth into a flat map. Objectives. At the end of this unit, you should be able to examine the concept of map projection. Identify the elements and classes of map projection. What is map projection? The Earth's surface is curved, but, is, but as it must be shown on a flat sheet, there is need for a projection. A projection is a method by which the curved surface of the Earth is represented on a flat surface. It involves the use of mathematical transformation between the location of places on Earth and their projected location on the plane or flat surface.
A map projection is a mathematically described technique on how to represent an Earth's curved surface on a flat map. In other words, it is the mathematical process of transforming the spher spherical Earth into a flat Earth. It also representation of parts of the surface on the Earth on a flat map, paper map or on a computer screen. Every map we see on the paper has been projected it into a projected version of the spherical Earth. Classification of map projection. These are several types of map projection as well as several methods to use achieve these projections. Basically, however, there are three classes of map projection. They are cylindrical, conical, and azimuthal. The Earth's surface projected on a map wrapped around the globe as a cylinder produces a cylindrical map projection. Projected a map formed into a cone gives a conical map projection. When projected directly onto the mapping plane, it produces an azimuthal or zenithal or planar map projection. Below show the surface involved in the, on these three classes of projection. In figure 4, the three classes of map projection, the cylindrical, conical, azimuthal, sil uh, cone and plane. A map projection without distortion would correctly represent shape, angles, areas, distances, and direction everywhere on the map. Unfortunately, any map projection is associated with scale distortion. There is simply no way to flatten out a piece of ellipsoidal or sp spherical surface without stretching some part of surface more than others. The amount and which kind of distortion a map will have depends largely next to size or area being mapped on the type of the map projection that has been selected. Projections can be identified by distortion which they avoid in general a projection can belong to only one of these classes equal area or equivalent projections preserve the area of features by assigning them an area on the map which is proportional to their area on the earth these are useful for application which require measuring area conformal projections Preserve the shape of small features and show direction or bearings correctly. They are useful for navigation. Equidistant projections. Preserve distance to places from one or two points. There are several times, types of map projection as well as several methods used to achieve this projection. Each projection is most accurate at its center point and become more distorted the farther away from center that it gets. The projections are generally named after either the person who first used it, the method used to produce it, or the combination of two. Some of common types of map projection include Mercator, Transverse Mercator, Robinson's, Lambert Azimuthal, equal area Mellers cylindrical sinusoidal equal area orthographic stereographic genomonic albers equal area conic conclusion basically a map projection is a mathematical process used to transform the curved surface of earth into a flat surface every map is based on particular projection summary map projection has to do with showing the curved surface of earth on a plane or flat sheets it involves using mathematical transformation between the location or places on earth and their projected location on the flat map this transformation 
from one shape to another always leads to some forms of distortions. Generally, the distortions is usually less when the map shows just a earth. There are three properties of Earth's surface that can distort it during the process of projection. These are area, shape, and distance, or length. A map projection can only preserve one or two of the properties, but not all three. Hence, projections are identified by the particular property by preserve. That is the one they did not distort. Therefore, have equal area projection, which preserve the area featured. Conform mal projection, which preserve shape of small features and also show direction of bearings correctly. And equidistant projection, which preserve distance to places from one or more points. In terms of method or techniques used in producing them and hence their physically appearance, Map projection can be classified into three, namely cylindrical, conical, and azimuthal. Several map projections have been invented, but none of them is yet considered to be the best. The choice of which projection to adapt in making map depends on the main objective of the map. Unit 5. Coordinates, Directions, and Bearings Introductions Maps are usually produced based on a certain coordinate system that enable us to accurately determine the locations of features. Map can also give us information on the directions or angular bearing of features relative to any other features. Therefore, coordinates are important items in maps. In this unit, we'll look at the various coordinate systems and also how to determine directions and bearings of features in the map. Objectives At the end of this unit, you should be able to explain the meaning of geographical coordinate systems, discuss the importance of coordinates, identify various coordinate systems, discuss compass directions, discuss bearings. Coordinate systems, location and directions in map are accurately determined using a coordinate system. So, kaning coordinate system, maoni siya gamiton para malocate ang lugar kung asa ta padulong. So, there are two types of coordinate system, which is geographical coordinate system and rectangular or plane coordinate system. Geographical coordinates. We can identify locations as precise points on the Earth's surface by using a grind system of latitude and longitude. So, ang geographical coordinate system is maunin siya ang gamiton pod kung malukit ka o place na lisod ilukit. For example, buildings, street, and vegetations. Latitude. Latitude lines are parallel. They run east and west around the Earth. The parallels of latitude become increasingly shorter, shorter closer to the poles. So when we say latitude, maunin siya ang street line or parallel lines nga dili mag-intersect sa any point. Sa globe, makita na ito ng it is the half of an Equator. Longitude. Longitude lines run north and south around the Earth's surface. They intersect at poles and measure a distance east and west from the prime median. So, longitude, it is a geographic coordinate that specifies the east-west positions of the point sa surface sa ato nga Earth. Rectangular coordinates. Rectangular coordinates are plane coordinate system also known as the grind reference system, is made up of square grinds that are numbered 5.2. The grind lines help us to pinpoint an exact location anywhere on the map by giving a unique number known as a grind reference. So, the rectangular coordinate system is also called the XY plane or the coordinate plane. The X axis tell that it is a horizontal line and Y axis is a vertical line. It is it it help us to pinpoint the exact location nga mas mapadali na to pag locate ang location sa place on ma a map. Ang vertical nga line is also called S thing and ang horizontal is 
a norting direction. Directions Directions are determined using the compass rules. As shown in the figure 5.3, the compass is usually marked with cardinal points. The four major cardinal points are north, south, east, and west. Intermediate points or subdivision can be derived from these major cardinal points. For instance, we have northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. So the subdivision can further be divided to obtain tertiary division such as north, northeast, east, northeast east, south, east, and so on. In all, we have 16 cardinal points or compass direction shown in figure 5.3. Using the compass, is, is, it is possible to tell the direction of a place or location from another place as illustrated in figure 5.4, the direction of location A from location B is northwest. In other words, it is located in northwest B, northwest of B. So this is the examples in pipe in figure 5.3 compass directions. Uh, we have 16 cardinal points tanan. So as I ang divide sa muna ang major kaning north kaning N W S E north south east or west muna ang four major cardinal points so namamantay in other uh, location good so muna siya ang S W such as SW such as Southwest, NW, Northwest, and NE, Northeast, and SE, Southeast. So, na derive pa siya, na napasa i treasury. So, in shown in figure 5.3 compass directions, mo siya ang mga treasury nga uh, directions, which is kaning tag tolo na tolo ka tolo ka letter so kanin siya ang n w n so west north west ni uh, n n w north north west and n n e north north east masya ma binary sa dua anang example ka ng N, E, O, N so naman sa ito nga kumbutan siya nga North North East so ito nga siya so it shows it show in measuring of direction in figure 5.4 muna siya ang B ang location B to location A which is muna siya ang example Kani siya. Kani siya figure 5.4 measurement of direction. So, bearings. Bearing, bearings are direction measured in anglo, ang, angles. They are very useful more accurately determining the relative locations of places. Bearings are actually measured in degrees. So, siya? 300 degrees in a clockwise direction from the true north so this uh, uh, figure in figure 5.5 cardinal poles and their bearings I'm gonna say and in example in north I say 360 degrees clockwise ni siyang libot ano siya libot from the true north clockwise and on the map the angular bearings of direction 
of a place from another place can be measured using a protector so kagamit sa botanic protector to measure a place from another place pestong example gina sa AOB gamitan to protector from a measure the following steps can be taking measures the bearing in the place from another place so may siya mga isang mga para makakuha ka sa locations identify the two place on the map so pas ganiya itong A o B mo itong two locations ngayon mo ay sulat draw four cardinal points on the location point of observation from which you are looking for the bearings of the of uh, of the other location so mo draw pa kag four cardinal points draw a straight line to the join the centers of the two location so mo gama ka to oh, which is mo na tong north North East oh, what sample ato? D. Measure the angular bearings using the protector. To do this, place the centre of the protector at the point where the north, south, and east-west lines of the cardinal points points in, in, intersect each other. So there ka mo gamit na sa protector sa two lines which is the north south and east west lines pwede po ka mo gamit sa pikas nga yung south east o katong isa Reading from zero zero in a clockwise direction, the degree which direct falls on the line joining the two places is the bearing of the location of the place. We wish to determine its bearing from the other location. So, tapat clockwise direction from zero zero with the degree which directly falls na and joining the two places bearing of location to ma para ma determine ang imo location to another and this this is the example so determine the bearing of the location b from location a muna siya nga figure so ang kaning bearing b kan gini siya halin gini siya sa a bearing A so muna siya paingon siya ang A paingon sa B pero gikan ko rin siya sa A kumas siya ang measuring bearing this is the example conclusion latitudes and longitudes as well as other geographical referencing system are very useful in fixing the positions of features on the map without a coordinate system we will be difficult to establish the actual position of the features in the same vein the cardinal point express using the compass rose guide is uh, as in establishing the geographical direction and angular bearings of features on the map so without the coordinate system and the compass will we will not be able to know the positions of the earth surface and we will get lost not knowing our direction so dapat kung gusto good ng useful gun siya ng mga latitudes ang longitudes muna siyang tapat importante ko na siyang cardinal points no? kanyang kom compass rose guide mo natutuan ganap itong primero nang ipakita ang example mo na to siya
compass rose gear kung nanata ng 16 ng line 16 lines so important importante good siya kay para ma sakto na ton ang locations kung asa ta pwede ta matalang coordinate system such as, such as geographical coordinates and rectangular coordinates are very useful in useful in determining the accurate location of features on the map the coordinates are used geographically reference the positions of features on the surface surface of the earth in other words in map analysis coordinates are used to relate the position of the feature feature appearing on the map is equivalent positions on the earth surface similar similar similarly the directions of angular bearings of a feature relative to another feature can be established the compass rose which is one of the important components of the map help us in determining the direction or bearing of the future with reference to other features so muna siya ang dapat ang iyang coordinates good ay relate ko sa position dapat in sakit dapat bus ay good siya that's all my report thank you